I think we've all heard of Bananas Foster. That is a classic New Orleans dessert, and it's kind of a showpiece in a lot of restaurants. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's kind of bland, but it really is delicious when it is made well, and honestly, it is not that hard to make at home. But I'm switching it up a little bit because I am still using up so much butternut squash from my harvest last year in the garden. And I thought, um, why not make squash foster? Okay, it doesn't maybe sound quite as appealing, but let me tell you something. Squash is so delicious and it is so sweet. And used in this foster recipe, it really takes on almost the same texture that a banana would. To start, you just want to clean your squash. Just peel the outside, cut it down the middle, take out the seeds, and then cut it in planks. I kind of like to cut it in the idea of what maybe the bananas would be in the foster, but you can really do anything. If a dice is easier, you can do that too, but I like to leave it kind of in long planks. I just think the presentation is a little bit more appealing. Next, just put it on a baking dish and put a little bit of oil on top. This is just gonna help it not dry out in the oven. You do need to pre-bake this in the oven. Butternut squash is not exactly like bananas. It is not ready to eat right, fresh, and raw, as you know. So you do need to pre-roast it just to get it soft and tender so it's about the consistency of a banana when you make this recipe. Put it into the oven to roast. And then after a while, you can just check it with a knife. Now, I like this to be kind of crisp, tender, and meet just slight resistance with the knife because with this, you don't want it to be completely mushy. You want it to hold together when you use it. Once it's ready, just pull it out of the oven, set it aside to cool, and then we can start making our amazing sauce. Now, this is all fairly a quick recipe, so you kind of want to have all the ingredients out, ready to go, and on your stove beside you. You want to make this right before you serve it, and just let me tell you, you're going to make it once, and you're going to think, why do I not make this all the time? Because it's that good, and honestly, pretty easy. To start, just take a large skillet, put the butter right in there, and let it melt. I like to use these stainless steel ones. I think they work a little bit better than the non-stick because you get better caramelization. Once the butter is melted, you just want to add some dark brown sugar. And yes, I said dark because it has more molasses flavor and caramely notes, and believe me, it's worth it. Let the sugar melt into the butter and come together. At first, they're gonna kind of seem like they separated and you're gonna get some greasy spots, but let it come together and start bubbling all over and then add in your squash. Turn the squash every so often just to make sure it's kind of caramelizing and sauteing slightly on all sides. And then when it is really bubbling, you wanna make sure to pull it off the heat. You heard me, pull it off the heat. You don't wanna do this on heat, especially if you have a gas stove and add some rum. The rum is gonna bubble vigorously and if you had it on an open flame like a gas stove, it could ignite right away and that could be a little bit scary if you're not used to it. If you want to, you can flambe it, which just means to set it on fire. And while, yes, I will admit it looks kinda cool and you feel kinda awesome and powerful as you're doing it, there is a little bit of a science to it. It actually burns off some of the alcohol and condenses the flavor into a stronger rum flavor. So it is not just for show, but it is always fun to impress the guests. Am I right? Light it on fire and let it burn off a little bit. Then place it right back on the heat and you're just gonna cook that down into a delicious syrup. And don't worry, if you don't flambe it, it will still cook down, I promise. Once it is done, you can just remove it from the heat and add in a little bit of vanilla and just stir that in. It just really flavors it. And then just sprinkle on a little bit of cinnamon. The cinnamon is of course optional, but believe me, in this caramel and squash flavors, you want it. Stir that in and then you are ready to serve. You just need a big scoop of delicious vanilla ice cream and some of this squash foster. Really, this should serve about four, but um, it's so good, you may almost just think it serves one. Because I usually start eating it right out of the pan. Place it right over top of that ice cream, drizzle on the caramel sauce, maybe a little bit more cinnamon, and wow your guests. This is a great way to use squash, um, but even more so, it's a great reason if you need to buy some squash, because it is that good. Who needs bananas foster when you have this squash foster? If you agree, make sure to like this video and make sure to click subscribe so you can become part of the Gray Boxwood channel. We would love to have you be a part of this family. Leave a comment and let me know what you think.